Let's talk about El Nino and La Nina. El Nino is Spanish for the Nino. All jokes aside, in scientific terms, they are warm and cool phases of a climate pattern that occur in the Pacific. Basically, disruptions of sea surface temperatures can influence changes in the atmosphere, which can then affect temperatures and even precipitation globally, including here in Arkansas. La Nina represents the cool phase of this pattern. What happens is that strong winds push warmer water away from the eastern Pacific, causing colder water to rise to the surface. This leads to the jet stream moving more north over the U.S., which can give us more warmer conditions during the winter here in the south, and it can also lead to drought. Now, the opposite is true during El Nino, that warmer water moves back towards the eastern Pacific, leading to higher than average sea surface temperatures. This, in turn, causes the jet stream to move back southward, which can lead to cooler and wetter conditions. Normally, El Nino and La Nina peak during the winter, so depending on which one is expected, meteorologists can use them to help predict what kind of winter we may have. So that leads to the big question, what can we expect this year? Well, according to NOAA, we are entering a La Nina. This means we should probably plan for those warmer and drier conditions here in the south. But don't let that trick you. Remember, these are average conditions we may experience during a winter season. A warmer winter doesn't mean that we won't have our fair share of cold spells or snow. And that's what the science says about El Nino and La Nina.